Hey everyone, today we're gonna to take a look at how to keep all of our Docker containers updated and pull the latest image in anytime that there's a new one available. This is great to make sure that all of your containers are updated with the latest security updates. And as a bonus, we're also gonna look at how to keep your operating system, the underlying Linux system that you have running, updated automatically. So let's jump right in. Okay, to keep our Docker containers updated, we're gonna use an application called Watchtower. If you've never heard of Watchtower before, it's a great Docker container that sits on your system and looks at all of the Docker containers that are running on it and checks the repositories out online to see if there's an updated image available. If there is, it'll go ahead and pull it for you. However, if you choose not to, you can also have it just notify you if there are new updates. That way you can go in and manually make updates. So let's look at how we're going to uh, set this up. Within Portainer, I like to do Portainer again because uh, that's easier to follow along sometimes. We'll go in and create a new stack and I'll paste in the following Docker Compose file. Now, all of these commands, just like on all my videos, are going to be down in the description below. Here, this is going to go out and get the latest version of Watchtower. It's going to, uh, I'm setting Watchtower cleanup to false, meaning that if it pulls a new image, it won't delete the old one. So if I have an issue with it, I can easily go and revert back to the old image. Um, Watchtower includes stopped and restarting. It's up to you whether you want to, uh, to update anyone that might be stopped for any reason or restarting. Um, my time zone is uh, Chicago, central time zone. And then rolling restart is what I like to do, which is I set to true. That will go through each of the Docker containers and one by one stop them and restart them if there's a new image uh, available instead of stopping all of them at once and then doing the updates. Uh, the other options that you have, there's two different ways to do the scheduling. You can schedule it to do it uh, once a day using this cron scheduling version. This would be at 6 a.m. every day. It goes and checks for, for updates. The other option is to uh, do a poll interval, and so that's every X amount of seconds. In this case, it's uh, 86,400 seconds, which equates to 24 hours. So I'll check once a day, which is plenty. You don't really need to be checking it more often than that unless you want to. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and name this Watchtower. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and hit deploy the stack. And that easily, it's set up to go ahead and check. So mine will now check at 6 a.m. every day and update all of the Docker containers on my system. However, you may have Docker containers you don't want to automatically update. and Maybe you just wanna get notifications of it. You can set up the notifications within the uh, Docker Compose file for Watchtower. If say you want to get an email or have it notify you on, on Slack or Discord or something like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can uh, tell it to exclude a container and not update that one uh, if you want to manually update it and just get notified if there are updates. Okay, if you do have a container that you don't want to be automatically updated for whatever reason, then all you have to do is add a simple label to it. So if you go into the Docker Compose, in this example, we're going to use this one and you put the following uh, label in it, which is com.centurylinklabs.watchtower.enable equals false. What it'll do is it'll automatically check that container to see if there's an updated image, and if it is, it will skip it. So if you have it set up to have notifications sent to you, it'll tell you, hey, there's, a no there's an update with this container, but it was not updated. So you can manually go in there at a time that works for you and make the updates without any, uh, any issues. If you want to set it to true, it'll automatically make that update or you just leave it out of there and uh, it'll automatically update the container. So that's a good way to uh, kind of individually uh, select if you do or do not want a specific container to be updated. Just put that little label in it. It works in the Docker Compose file. It works in the uh, Docker command line. Either one of them, it'll work perfectly for you. Okay, so you have all of your Docker containers updating magically, automatically in the background. But what about the underlying operating system? It's always a good idea to have security updates uh, applied to those. Sometimes manually is a pain in the neck because you got a whole bunch of servers. So why don't we go ahead and set those up automatically? To do that, we're gonna do unattended upgrades. It's this command here. All you need to do is uh, run this command. Uh, I will also um, have, have system control here enable it immediately. So that's the later part of it. But we'll have all these commands down below. So we'll go ahead and hit enter here and let it go ahead and run through, install everything. The next thing we want to do is we want to double check that the, uh, the, the configuration file for this is set up correctly to allow all of the, uh, the updates. So there's two commands we need to do there. The first thing is we're going to make a backup of that uh, configuration file. The second one is we're going to edit it. 
So here we're going to make the backup. We're just going to tell it to, to make a backup so that if we mess anything up, we can easily restore it. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit enter there. We've made the backup. Now we'll go ahead and edit the file. We're just going to use nano because it's an easy text editor. We'll go into the file. Go ahead and check in here. This is where you want to look and make sure that all your security updates are, are being done. As long as it doesn't have the two slashes before it, that means it's not commented out. So this file type, uh, two slashes means that uh, it won't you won't look at that line. So here we have all of our security here and down in the, the lower section, everything is set to uh, to be updated, which is exactly what we want. So make sure yours has those lines uncommented. It should by default, but just in case, go ahead and check it. And now we'll go ahead and save that file and automatically uh, your Linux system will go out periodically and look for updates for security uh, patches and updates to the operating system without you having to interact with it at all. Now you will have to go in and do restarts every once in a while if there's a kernel update or something like that, uh, but you can actually have it set up to email you or notify you, which is a great option as well. So there you go. Quick video to make sure all of your Docker containers are updated to the latest image and to make sure that your underlying operating system, if it's Linux, is updated with the latest security patches. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks to everybody who's already subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video.